Hey, Evil Dead fans. I'm just giving you an update on Brick McSlab House's uh, Working Comic Con Safe Chainsaw that I'm making. It's almost done. I'm doing some paint right now to it. He wanted it really rough looking, um, or really kind of dirty. He really liked the one that I made for myself originally. So I went with that and kind of uh, went a little further. And he gave me every um, bit of freedom to do whatever I wanted to do on a paint job. So what I did is what exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to make it look really rough and look like it's been through some shit. So you can see it's, the paint looks darker. It's just weathered down um, with some black. And actually used a little bit of a darker red on this one, more of an Evil Dead 2 look versus an Ash versus Evil Dead red, which is more, I'd say, just a little more vibrant, just barely. So let's go to the top. Now the top looks worn down. You can see it looks like the paint's been worn down. There's more, you know, oil and whatnot on there. And the paint has worn away here. I have yet to bolt it on there. It's just kind of sitting on, on there right now, the top is. But I really want to get a nice metallic look out of this. And it's looking really good. I really, really like it. And I actually have to do some modifications to it tomorrow. I actually got to hack this end off. Uh, just because the Evil Dead 2 cuff sits against here, I didn't want a huge gap here. So I'm going to make uh, a, a different piece for that versus what I was going to do originally. So let's rotate this. And I'll show you guys that later. And if you look, it's got that nice metallic look on it. It's got nice blobs of, well, it's paint, but it's supposed to look like oil. And this is only the first stage on the dirty in process. I still have to get uh, some black sand and put on different spots here and there to look like it's been used and beat the crap, just the crap beat out of it. Uh, sandals purposely darkened for look like there's crap on it. But yeah, I'm really liking it. And I put the metallic edge all the way through. Uh, the way the handle has to be sitting back here, this is actually supposed to be behind the two bolt holes that I need to put here. So I just put it up here where the toggle switch needs to go because the two bolt holes will be down here. And I'm going to do that tomorrow, actually. But it's really looking good. I really like this paint job. It's got a nice top on it. I still got to put the filler piece in behind here. I just haven't done it yet. And I actually used, uh, he sent me some uh, textured spray paint. So I actually sprayed that down first. It was like a brown color and then went over it with black, gave it a nice texture. Did put my little piece here that I always put on the, the metal handles and the metal bodies. And it just looks dark and gritty. Same thing underneath and inside. So, and this one uh, is for my good friend Brick, and I want to get it to him before the nerd, uh, New Jersey Horror Con, because uh, I want him to take it so he can uh, enjoy it at a con. So, that's looking really good. It's just a really quick update for you guys, and it's just, it just looks fantastic. I like this really gritty look like it's been through some shit. I just love it. I like the metal on top. I like how you can still see a little red through the black. Because if you just blacken it out, because it, it just looks like it's black. So you want to actually have a little red show through. Actually, when I do this, I go over with the silver first, then the black. And then after that, I go back over with a little bit of silver and just kind of push it in with the black. But I really like it and I hope he likes it too. And it just, it looks really good. It's more Evil Dead 2-esque than Ash vs. Evil Dead, of course. Boy, it just shines. The metallic just shines. But, you know, then the handle's gonna come up through here with a bracket down here, connected to the cuff back here. Toggle switch, or the on-off switch here. The two bolts will be down here. 
and it's going to be his working comic-con safe chainsaw so tell me what you guys think in the comments if you guys like this kind of a paint job because i really really like how it just just looks weathered and just beat up it's probably one of my favorites actually so just let me know what you guys think in the comments you guys have a great day bye